We're learning more tonight about the second wife of Omar Mateen. Investigators now focusing on her and what she may have known before that terror attack. Our team coverage continues with Local 10 News reporter Glenna Milberg live in Fort Pierce tonight. Glenna. And Lori Calvin, we actually have not heard nor seen nor Mateen since all that news broke about how she is a focus of this investigation. Reportedly, she's staying here with her sister-in-law. And tonight we're learning a little bit more about the investigation, bits and pieces. For instance, Omar Mateen posted on Facebook during his attack. That's according to a Senate committee that heard some of this, some of these bits and pieces. And thanks to a YouTube clip unearthed today, we see Omar Mateen and hear him on the job a few years ago. They want more disaster to happen because that's where their money making is. Chilling words in hindsight. In context, it's a clip from a 2012 documentary on the BP oil spill cleanup. Guard Omar Mateen on duty for G4S security. Unclear whether he knew he was being taped. No one gives a shit. No one gives a shit. Like everybody just get out to get paid. They're like hoping for more oil to come out and more people to complain so they'll have the jobs. Mateen's conversations and actions, especially the more recent ones, are part of the net cast by investigators. We learned they've sent the cell phone he used three times during his shooting rampage and the weapons to the FBI lab in Quantico, Virginia. My son was a victim and got trapped in the, in the scheme of this uh, ISIS idea. Mateen's family members are cooperating with the FBI under scrutiny, too, we learn. The major focus on his wife, Noor Salman, who admitted being with her husband as he cased Pulse nightclub the first week of June and with him as he bought the weapons. We're not sure what charges will be brought or if charges will be brought. At the end of all of our interviews, however long that takes, if someone is able to be charged in this investigation, we will bring them to justice. Noor has stayed out of sight, reportedly at the home of Mateen's sister, where family members have come and gone throughout the day. In so hindsight, do you think she could have stopped what uh, happened? I, I just, uh, I'm done. I'm out of energy. Thank you so much. Everyone involved wondering whether this was terrorism or whether this was a hate crime. And today, the assistant special agent in charge with the FBI said it's both. I'm Glenna Milberg in Fort Pierce tonight, Local 10 News. All right, Glenna, thank you. And our crews will be in place tomorrow for President Obama and Vice President Joe Biden's visit uh, landing at about 1230. We will have any new developments with the investigation. Look for more live reports beginning on the Local 10 Morning News and, of course, anytime on Local10.com.